Hello, GPAT aspirants. Tomorrow is GPAT examination, uh, and I would like to wish you all the best for the examination. Before getting into the examination, you need to understand certain strategies to crack the exam. Let us see the statistics first. See, for the past five years, the statistics says only 10% are getting qualified in GPAT. Imagine 50,000 students are writing the examination, only 5,000 are getting qualified on an average. Now, why is this happening? Is the exam so tough? Well, let us see the next one. The average qualifying marks are 140 to 160 marks. You know the exam is for 125 questions and 500 marks. Out of 500, 140 to 160 is the qualifying marks for the past 5 years. 140 to 160 means it's hardly 40 questions. Out of 125, if you give correct answers for 40 questions, you will get qualified. Then why so many people could not qualify it? The reason is they are lacking certain strategies and tips. Let us understand them. See, understand the exam pattern. The biggest problem with examination is negative markings. Negative markings are ruining every student qualifying uh, ability. So, see, when you see 125 questions are there, students will write the answers. Even if they don't know the answer, they are attempting it. And that is what causing the major damage. This is the major reason why most of the students are not getting qualified. Understand the it's a simple math. Let's say 10 questions, you don't know the answer. Each question carries four marks. If you don't know the answer of 10 questions means if you if you you will be losing 40 marks because 10 into 4 40 marks. Imagine all the 10 even though you don't know the answer you have put an option. Let's say all of them are wrong because luck will not favor mostly. So if every question is wrong so 10 marks you will lose. See every question contains 4 marks for positive correct answer. For negative answer 1 mark is detected. So 10 marks 10 negatives will be there. So how many marks did you lose? If it is correct, you will get 40 marks because you put the right wrong option, you are losing 10 more marks. So total it is 50 marks, you have lost it. So this is how the marks are going down. Understand the math. And this is pushing you down that 140 and most of the students are not getting qualified. So understand this thing, negatives are very problematic one. So you need to understand the strategy. Imagine you are writing a question. If you don't know the answer, if you, if you don't have any clue, do not attempt it. Understand this, do not attempt it. Imagine there is a confusion between two options. That means out of four options, you can eliminate two of the options. But between two, there is a confusion. In such cases, you can take this and put an option. Again, you need to guess intelligently. Intelligent guess should be there. No wild guesses. So understand my points. If you don't know the answer, no option is relevant to you. Don't put it on, give the choice. If there is a confusion between two of the options, try to attempt it because there is a chance of 50% getting it right. Now leaving this, some general tips. See, this is summer time, exam is of three hours and, and uh, two different shifts are there. Proper food and water is required because whatever the food we take, that will give the glucose into the blood that gets into the brain and gives you enough energy to think and write the examination. If enough glucose is not there, hypoglycemia will be there and hypoglycemia will cause a kind of shock also. This is what we have studied in insulin overdose of insulin hypoglycemic shock the first sign is mental incoherence you cannot think properly what does it indicate if glucose levels are falling down in the blood brain will not work properly so have food not complex one simple carbohydrate take it if you have uh, get a bar chocolates that will give you slow levels uh, constant levels of glucose hydration is also required now most important thing see you need to be quiet and calm during the exam time, all the three hours. I'll give you three important tips. First one, read each and every word in the question. Read it twice because you need to understand the question properly to in order to answer that. Second one, read each and every option. Again, focus, concentrate and read each and every option. Third one, be careful with negatives. If you don't know the question or answer, never attempt it. If there is a confusion between one or two options, then do it. This is the way you, you get qualified. Again, understand one more statistics. 40 questions, if you get correct answers, you will get qualified. Now, for the past five years, All India top one ranker of the GPAT is scoring around 300 to 330 marks. That is 80 questions correct. 320 only. The average is 320 is the top All India first ranker. Now, understand the difference. 40 questions, you will get qualified. 50, 60, 70, you will be in the top list. So try to understand these things, try to avoid all the negative things. See, understand this one, 
all india topper he himself is is writing correct answers for only 80 questions 45 questions he could not answer so understand this thing the exam is a kind of tough exam you cannot answer each and everything so leaving questions is very fine the primary job is to get qualify and then push to the top percentile so i hope all these things are useful all the best for your examination